Okay, while watching the French Open, did you notice how many loopy balls were hit? I mean, Nadal is famous for that, but I saw Djokovic doing it, Casper Ruud doing it, hitting that loopy high stuff. And the loopy high stuff can be tough to deal with and to get power with. So that's today's subject. Now, the first thing you have to remember, when you're, let's say, close to the baseline, but you see that your opponent has hit a high ball that's going to land inside the baseline. Now, it's, it's a deep shot. It might not be, you know, right on the baseline, but it's deep. And it's high, it's got spin, and it's going to kick up high. The first thing you've got to do is take a drop step with your dominant leg. So my right foot's going to come back. I'm going to skip back. And then when I get to the position where I know, okay, I can hit this ball, you make sure that your right leg is wider than your shoulders. That's going to give you foundation. This is where your strength and your power is coming from. You've got to load the dominant leg. So my right leg now is loaded, okay? From here, I can go up and get the power, okay? So I'm going almost straight up. Okay, if you don't take a wide enough step where that dominant leg is wider than the shoulders, if it's too far in here, you may end up leaning back too much. You want to be in a position where you can go vertically up, and that's where your power is gonna be. So from here, take that drop step, skip back, take another good size step so that right leg is wider than the shoulders. From here, you're gonna drop it down, you're gonna push up, and that left leg will actually come off the ground. But notice the left leg is out in front slightly. It's not a closed stance. It's a semi-open stance. But it allows me to recover quicker. Okay, because if I hit a nice shot nice and deep, I want to move back towards the baseline. So those are some of the things you want to focus on. And a couple of other things. Make sure your racket comes back in a closed position, you know, really closed, and just go up at contact. I could hit a ball this high, okay? That's, that's above my head, all right, and still hit a forehand. The other thing is if that left leg stays in front, okay, if it tends to go this way back here, the shoulders can open up too early. You don't want that. Okay, you're gonna lose depth. You're gonna lose power. Okay, let's take a look in slow motion. Now watch that right leg, the drop step there with the right foot. Okay, from here, I'm gonna shuffle back sideways, notice the racket is staying closed. The racket's closed, okay, I'm gonna set up the right leg right there. Boom, that right leg, that's my foundation, that's where the power's coming from. Now I'm gonna explode up from there, that left leg is still out in front, the shoulders have not opened up too soon. Okay, side angle, slow motion. The right leg drops back right there. Shuffling, racket face stays closed. Okay, right here now, I'm gonna set the right leg right there. 
Notice that right leg is outside the shoulders. I've got a good base there. Okay, from right there, I'm going to explode up into the shot. Left leg stays out in front. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. Please give me a like, give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel. All the best to your tennis success. Take care.